welcome back to another edition of Horse Racing Preview. <laughs> this week's feature, obviously you already know it, it's come from Churchill Downs Race the Love, and that must only mean one thing. Yep, it is time again for the Breeders' Cup Classic. <laughs> Alright guys, this is race for, uh, you know, three-year-olds and up, mile and a quarter on the dirt. Churchill, I already said that though. <laughs> Seriously. Guys, let's just get started. Um, accelerate. I tried to be Accelerate. I really, really, really did, but it's just not going to happen. This horse is just looking way too phenomenal on paper to beat. Um, he's, you know, obviously for three for three with his last three races in VIX. Go for four, four straight. Um, he, when this horse gets the green light, you know, he is gone. He's out of here. Lights out. Goodbye. See you next week. I know I've said that before, but I've got to repeat for this one because this, this horse is just a gem. Um, you know, but I like also the... For every race that he's won that I could see, his margin of length uh, that he wins by improves like really drastically throughout the race, which is so cool to me. I love that. Um, you know, and also he has Joel Rosario rode him the last few times out. He rode his 12 length victory, you know, second from last start. So these two make a great pair. You know, it's going to be all Joel and Accelerate on Saturday. Uh, <laughs> all right, guys, moving right along. West Coast, I like West Coast. He's a great soccer. All right, uh, he's just gonna continually stay hanging around this pace, uh, but then he's gonna try to make a sneak attack on the leaders and catch them. So you never know. Um, that makes up a good candidate to try and be accelerate. Um, let's see. He uh, got himself, you know, West Coast also got himself into a little bit of a habit of running second, like the last three starts. So he might just actually have to sell for second because of that right there. <laughs> no, guys, seriously, look back in West Coast's past performances. Win, 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 win. So really, he is the, also um, the best choice to try and beat Accelerate in my mind. Uh, and last but not least, guys, I'm liking Catholic Boy, and this is who I was going to pick to actually beat Accelerate before I actually looked at the whole past performances. Um, because the reason why I was going to put him on top was because he is, I think, like 4 for 4, but he's a great front runner, alright? You know, but uh, he might just run out of gas. You know, I'm thinking the speed might run each other out. He might run out of gas. So that's why I'm going to set all the you know, Catholic boys and we had to sell for third for me. <laughs> uh, guys, JC upset special. Yoshida or Yoshida. <laughs> I think it's probably Yoshida though. Oh, and guys, as bonus, I'm going to give you a few of my other picks here. Um, let's see, race four, I got two running in race four that I like, so I got an exacta for you. Um, Stormy Liberal, Disco Partner, they're both great. Uh, race six, I'm like a four-star crook, you gotta go with the cool name, four-star crook, that kicks ass. <laughs> um, race nine's obvious, you know, this down from a nominee girl, there's just no beating her either. Um, and also Super Chalk coming up, but hey, you know. Find a long shot to go with them. In race 10, I'm liking Robert Bruce. So there's a few of my other picks for Saturday. Guys, thank you so much for watching me all this whole time. Thanks for reading my blog. And if you do want to read what I just told you, each and every Thursday, you can stop by Facebook.com slash JC's Horse Racing Preview. And also, please like and share and subscribe so you will know exactly when one of my videos is posted and be one of the first ones to watch. So... Guys, uh, thanks for stopping. Have fun this Breeders' Cup weekend. I hope it's not too raining in Churchill. Mm, we'll have to wait and see. Um, see you next week. Catch you later.